Welcome back to Africa 54. I'm Esther Gidul Ewart in Washington. Malawi is trying to find ways to contain overfishing in its largest body of water, Lake Malawi. The third largest lake in Africa has long been the economic hub of, for thousands of fishing communities along the lakefront areas. However, locals say unsustainable fishing practices and climate change have led to dwindling catches, forcing some fishermen to look for alternatives. Lamek Masina reports from the town of Mangochi. A crowd of fish traders gathers each afternoon and evening at a beach in the Makawa area waiting for the haul from fishermen. But many of them return home empty-handed because of the increasing scarcity of fish in the lake. For example, today, those of us who fished in the lake only caught enough to fill two five-liter pails, which will only sell for about MK2000 each. This is a huge loss for us. Some fishermen say the fish have been depleted because of climate change. Others point to the increase of fishing vessels on the lake, resulting in stiff competition for the catch. The scarcity have forced the fishermen to double the price sold to the traders. Whenever they catch low fish, they sell to us at MK 70,000 per crate. But if we have to bargain when we sell it, we only make MK 65,000. To traders, this means we take some losses and we fail to feed our families. And the dwindling catch has also forced the season the fish traders out of business with many of them switching to other alternatives like Joseph Maida who is a livestock farmer now. It's like I'm killing two birds with one stone. I use a dung for making composite manure. When I have run out of cash, I kill one goat and sell the meat. Meanwhile, the government is trying to sensitize communities on regulations designed to reduce overfishing. These include a ban on some fishing nets and a two-month annual ban on fishing in the lake from November 1 to December 31. We have this uh, period which we call closed season where some fishing gears and fishing method are prohibited. Uh, this is actually the time when fish do breed. So it's like we are trying to give some, some time to fish to, to freely breed and also grow. Lakeside communities have formed committees to help reinforce the regulation in some areas, the villagers have set up by laws which have instant penalties to those violating the regulations. We burn fishing nets as penalty for violating bylaws to protect our environment for our children's future. We can't allow bad fishing practices to continue. In addition, the communities are lobbying the government to extend the annual two-month ban on fishing to first month in hopes the fish population will grow. Lamek Masina for VOA News, Mangochi.